Does the nutritional content of semen vary based on the donor's diet and health? Hello there. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that's both personal and scientific. Does the nutritional content of semen vary based on the donor's diet and health? This may seem like an unusual question, but it's an interesting aspect of human physiology and nutrition that deserves exploration. Let's dive right in. What is semen made of? To begin, let's talk about what semen actually consists of. It's more than just sperm. In fact, sperm only constitutes about 2 to 5% of the volume. The rest is a cocktail of substances that primarily come from the prostate gland and seminal vesicles. These substances include fructose, enzymes, vitamin C, proteins, zinc, and other nutrients and minerals. How does diet affect semen composition? Here's where it gets interesting. Studies suggest that the donor's diet can indeed impact the composition of semen. For example, diets rich in fruits and vegetables, which are high in antioxidants, can influence the quality of semen by reducing oxidative stress. Specific nutrients, such as omega-3 fatty acids, are also thought to contribute to sperm health. However, it's important to note that research in this area is still relatively limited and ongoing. How does health status affect semen? Not just diet, but the overall health of the donor also plays a role. Conditions such as obesity, diabetes, and hypertension can negatively affect semen quality and fertility. Smoking and alcohol consumption, too, can have detrimental effects. On the flip side, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, which includes a balanced diet and regular exercise, is associated with improved semen quality. Can changes in diet and health significantly change semen's nutritional content? While diet and health can affect the quality of semen, it's less clear whether these changes significantly alter the nutritional content of semen. The nutrients found in semen are present in relatively small amounts, and these quantities might not be significantly affected by dietary and lifestyle changes. More research is needed in this area to establish clear links. So, in conclusion, while the diet and health of the donor can influence semen quality and potentially its nutritional content, it's important to note that these effects are complex and not yet fully understood. Nevertheless, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is always beneficial, not only for semen quality but for overall health. We hope you found this discussion intriguing and informative. Keep those questions coming and remember, there's no topic too unusual to learn about.